guys, what's up? It is GVK Collectibles, and today, for this little mini-review, I figured we will be going and taking a look at the Monstars Creep Show, uh, three, four quarter inch scale, the Crate Monster, aka Fluffy, from the movie Creep Show. What's up guys, as I said, today we're going to do a little bit of a mini review on the Monstars Creep Show, The Crate. Now, I got this a while ago, and I, so, but this is the thing that I think people need to know. I freaking love Creep Show. I love this movie so much. It's probably one of my favorite horror films from the 80s, and it's also one of my favorite anthologies next to Trick or Treat. And it is also probably one of my favorite George Romero movies, too. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Creepshow is an anthology uh, movie, horror movie, done by George Romero and Stephen King. So, really have these two icons of the horror genre coming together and making an awesome uh, anthology movie. Like, a lot of memorable skit uh, parts, too. Uh, Creepshow is primarily based off the old horror, EC horror comics back in the day, and a lot of the film, if you watch it, it feels very much like a comic movie. It's the best non-comic book, uh, best comic book movie that's not really a comic book movie. It's based a lot on, like, Tales of the Crypt, that kind of thing. It also has, like, a very Dario Argento feel to it. Like, I watch uh, uh, Suspense and this and you can feel I don't know if there was direct influences at all from Argento because uh, Romero and Argento had worked in the past with uh, Dawn of the Dead uh, so yeah there could be that but here we have the great monster aka Fluffy this is done by Monstars they do uh, this is a company I try to find if they had like a homepage or anything they kind of don't at this point but it is really really cool because I've seen a lot of their stuff they do like these kind of classic three four quarter inch scale uh, figures. So they've done a lot of the Creep Show line. So you get the Creep, uh, you get Fluffy right here with the crate itself, which looks really, really cool. Uh, then you get side the creep, uh, Fluffy's hand. Then you also get Fluffy's eyes at the top, then to the crate. Then you get all the other, uh, then you get a good production shot back here. Special edition box set. Uh, three. 3.7 inch scale, fluffy creature, 6 points of articulation, hidden crate featuring hinge and chains and lock. Also you get some other available ones like uh, Nathan from Father's Day and also uh, something to tide you over the two zombies in that which is a really really good one. So with that out of the way let's get this guy out of the packaging and as of course we'll just get we'll just speed this up. Fluffy and the crate out of the packaging and it, this is a really really cool like little set here for this so it, this is uh, it costs a little bit just because this is a independent company I think it was like uh, for uh, I think like 40 bucks I think yeah 40 bucks at mythical mountain which is kind of okay for me because I do because there really isn't too much creep show stuff uh, like from the original film just because uh, even though NECA does have the license they haven't really done quite too lot of uh, not I wouldn't say a lot of stuff they've only really done the creep from the TV show as opposed to the film uh, which like I treat them one of the same it's the same character uh, so it is really really cool and there's a lot of callbacks to uh, fluffy and everything from those previous films so this this is going to be a kind of a little weirder, longer mini review uh, where I'll go into detail about the crate itself and a little fluffy here. Then we'll do some size comparisons to see uh, the other if I have the other figures within the line. Uh, so yeah, let's jump into a little detail with the crate itself. About the crate here, and this thing looks super, super cool. It, it's really cool of how well detailed this thing is because it actually does have uh, what is on the crate in the sh in the movie itself, like the, the Arctic expeditions. Knowing that creep. Uh, Fluffy came from the Arctic, which is really, really cool. He's just been locked away in the university, which is really, really cool. I gotta say, the detailing on this thing looks really, really cool, really well done uh, on their part. I don't know if they're an independent company or not, if it's only just a few people, but man, the sculpting on this thing looks really, really good. 
and they did a really really good job because it does look like the box from the show and it does open so you can clearly put like fluffy in there and there's actually a it's kind of hard to tell just because of the uh lighting oh there we go i got it you actually see a little scar like scratches and everything in there which is really really cool really well done on their part i think it's really really well done uh it also does come with these chains too these are actually removable chains so if you want you can remove these chains but i keep them on there just because uh I don't usually have this posted on my, like, uh, on my DVD, like, uh, uh, shelf is it's open, like, and it's a little cr cracked open a little, and Fluffy's, like, pointing his head out, which looks really, really good. So, yeah, ship to, uh, Hort Nordlix University via Julia Carpenter, Arctic Expedition, June 1980. 191835 34 I mean which is really really cool and there's also these cool little uh, locks too which is definitely makes sense for keeping fluffy in which is really really cool really well done detail I think and you're able to like hook the chains so you're able to hook these so it can like stay in place which is really really good I think for these figures so yeah that is great so let's get on to fluffy himself all right and here we have fluffy out of the close up fluffy and I gotta say sculpting detail is really really good you kind of just forget to realize how small fluffy is like he's just this tiny little thing but is very very deadly fluffy I think is one of the most iconic one of the most iconic parts of creep show I think Nathan too from Father's Day is really iconic as well really a lot of people in that movie are iconic and a lot of iconic scenes out of horror like that would be put into horror films so it is really really cool to see it uh, but I really do love the scarring and detailing on here mine has a little problem where it looks like the packaging like kind of scraped the plastic but the sculpting on the actual fluffy itself is really really great not too many limited art very limited articulation which you know it's kind of expected these are kind of like uh, what I can understand of Monster, what they do, they very much like do the idea of doing throwback figures from like when I was a kid, or when like a lot of younger, like older people than I was was a kid, where figures didn't have really too much articulation. So it's being like OG Star Wars figures, which is really really cool thing to think about. But yeah, the sculpting is really, really great. The paint detailing on this is super fantastic, I think. Uh, really, really well done, I think. And uh, just as always, it just is easy to put Fluffy in the crate himself. And he looks really menacing, like, looking into it. So I think that looks really, really cool. It's really cool. It's really well done, I think. I really love how Fluffy looks. Uh, the, the sculpting, the detail, the eyes, you can actually tell, like, are really, really well painted, detailed with green for such a small little figure, which is really, really cool. So, uh, with that out of the way, let's do a, some size comparisons to the other figures in the line. Uh, then we'll, I'll just give my final thoughts on it. We have some other creep show figures from the line. Of course, we have Nathan from Father's Day, which is one of my first ones that I got. Then there's something to tie you over. Uh, the creep who is newly released, and well, maybe I'll do a little mini figure review, but I'm not completely sure. But the, he's just really, really great to have. I think the collection, of course, fluffy too. Like. Once again, I think the Monsters, uh, Monstars did a really good job with this line because really there's not too many with them. Uh, not too many uh, creep show figures out there with the exception of like the TV show stuff from NECA uh, and a lot of the other uh, people started to do the NECA figures and close the Funko Pops and everything. But uh, I think it's really, really cool that we get these figures. Uh, really the only one we're uh, missing is the old man from uh, They're Crawling Up On You, but I don't know how they would do that as a figure. It'd be very interesting to see how they do it. And Ju Ju Julie, uh, Judy Verne, too, is not a uh, figure quite yet, uh, but I would love to see those uh, figures. I know I'd get them. But yeah, uh, overall thoughts, I think these this line is really, really cool. Monstars does a really, really good job. I think they're a lot smaller company in comparison to... Uh, like NECA and McFarlane clearly, but I think they do really, really amazing job on their sculpting and detailing with these such these small figures. They look like how they do in the uh, films, which looks really, really cool. And it's really not a scale that I collect, but I really enjoy these figures. So with that being said, that is this mini figure review Friday. I think Fluffy is such a super cool figure, and if you are a big fan of Creepshow uh, and you got the hands on these. The, the other guys definitely get fluffy because I think he is such a great, wonderful little figure to have. Uh, and with that being said, I hope you guys have, uh, make sure to hit like and subs subscribe. Hit the little bell notification so you get notified when we upload uh, videos like Mythical Mountain Monday, What's the Box Wednesdays, and Figure Review Fridays, like these little mini reviews. Uh, it, it, this one is a little bit of a longer one uh, just because of uh, 
I just didn't want it to be completely too short, so I just did a size comparison with all the Creepshow figures, and they look really, really good. I really love the look and design of these characters. I think they look really, really fantastic. So, uh, with that being said, also check us out on Instagram, uh, GVK Collectibles, and uh, Jack's Pop Guy on Macari, of course, and also check us out on uh, our Macari shops. All links will be down below, including my Facebook page. Well, that will be down below as well. So, with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and... Hopefully, you don't run into Fluffy, Nathan, something, and the creep. So, with that being said, have a wonderful day. Peace.